Augustine from Holy Spirit Parish in North Rumveld. If you're ever in North Rumveld on a Sunday morning at 8 o'clock and so moved, feel free to join us. And I'll just be leading us in a short reflection on today's readings. So here we are, we're at the beginning of a new year, even though the new year is already halfway. We're in the season of ordinary time we've entered into. And so New Year's resolutions, they're sort of, uh, we sort of should be on the way with them, or we're sort of renewing them at this point. Our Christmas novenas, our prayers, these activities, they're all behind us somewhat in a rear view mirror. And we have the entire year ahead of us, 2017. And the year, depending on where it finds us, we could be excited about it, we could be happy, or we could be daunted, we could be overwhelmed by the experiences that we're having. And here we have these readings in front of us that convey a sense of purpose and a sense of mission. Um, in our first reading from Isaiah, we're told of God calling us from the womb forming us to be servants. In the Gospel, John the Baptist you know, is reflecting on baptizing Jesus, speaking about the Spirit coming on him, calling him, and then John the Baptist recognizing that he, Jesus, is the chosen one. So our question is, where am I today at this point in 2017? Do I recognize that I'm a person who is being called who has been chosen, or what, what am I to make of life? What am I to make of 2017? And there are opportunities for us to shine, to let our light shine before others, to be a light to the nations. Our daily newspapers, for example, um, provide many things to ponder, to reflect on, many opportunities. I was just today looking at a Facebook post and you know, it sort of struck a good chord, um, you know, apart all the bad news you're always sort of reading. This was a bit of good news, you know. Um, somebody was posting about their reflection of being a bystander and observing um, young men entering the GDF for uh, interviews. And they observed a particular young man from Linden being turned away because he had no slippers. And so they made a call to a particular me, army major and the person sent a pair of shoes. Um, so it turns out the young man wasn't sent back home and well, he was hopefully able to be given a chance at, um, you know, an opportunity at developing a career, at um, developing himself. And so the Facebook post was in recognition of the major who actually took the time to listen to a phone call. He, he seized the opportunity, he just didn't dismiss it as one of the busy things that you know we have to do during the day. And he took the time, he listened, he observed, but he acted. And um, that was the important thing that struck a chord with me. Because we could hear these readings over and over about being chosen, about being called, about being sent on mission and purpose and baptism. And for us, it's all just a familiar story. Yes, we baptize, we're members of the church. This, we, this is a new year. We already have our plans set in motion. But yet, apart from our own plans, there are always these little opportunities that uh, if we're not careful, we could ignore them. Uh, where God calls us and through other people, through situations, um, um, I mentioned in the newspapers or the radio, that we could respond to. So sometimes it's not always my plans and my little bubble that I have, but sometimes it's the spur of the moment, inconvenient request, inconvenient, annoying phone call a person, that God calls us to act to be light to the world. Um, and in a world where it seems as if darkness pervades, um, country and we, we we know we know the darkness is there and we sometimes ask ourselves who's the solution and then we remember the adage you know it's better to light a candle than to curse the darkness and I think this is precisely what readings on mission and baptism 
they always call us to a deeper reflection on. And so for me, it's just to be a, a, a reminder as we go through these 12 months of the year that not to ignore this, the little voices calling us to sometimes intervene, sometimes to silent, to stand up for justice, stand up for what is right. Um, it might call us to be inconvenient, but yet it's through these little moments that clearly God calls us to. And with that, I want to just wish everybody a, you know, a blessed rest of the year, but a fruitful one and one that calls them to let's be light to each other and our brothers and sisters keepers.